Hello everybody, it is Magma and I'm back with another LEGO Star Wars related video. Today we're going to go ahead and take a look at all the underrated sets of the year. So the underrated sets of the year are um, the sets which um, everybody just passed when there was a great deal or a great set that most people missed on and it was a, um, a, a bigger set was actually like placed on top of it basically so yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the sets. I'm starting off with 2006, ending with 2014. If this uh, uh, video makes it well, um, I'll probably do from 1999 to 2005, and so on. So, so 2006, uh, the underrated set of, set of the year. Um, most of them are um, are either on uh, facts. Um, are on facts and sales, and also um, on how if the set was actually good or not. So yeah. So in 2006, we have the 6208, the B-wing fighter. Great set. I actually have this set myself, and I just love it. Um, it is so much better than the older one. Um, so much better than the uh, 99, 1999 version one, and so much better than the new one. Uh, it comes with some better minifigures, it has a stand to it, uh, just a great set. Um, sadly mine um, has a two, three pieces which um, aren't the uh, exact color or uh, the actual piece which I had to replace by other pieces um, which is really deceiving because um, the set is, is really really great. So yeah. Uh, next in 2007, um, now this is actually another one I have. Um, um, because actually 2007 is the only line, or probably the only, yeah, I think it's the only line where I have all the sets except for the uh, Ultimate Collector's Millennium Falcon. And um, yeah, so what the set is the 7661 the Jedi Starfighter with Hyper Booster Ring. Uh, a great set, again I have that, so um, it's not really personal preference, but it's mainly, um, it's one of those sets that you had a really good deal, uh, extremely unique. Uh, color scheme, extremely unique design. Only said to have the um, booster ring, with, which is uh, featured in quite a bunch of uh, series or movies. Um, and yeah, just another great set. Um, it was a good deal for the price um, piece, price per piece, and it had um, some cool minifigures, which included our first version of Kid Fistos. So, yeah, pretty cool set. Um, on 2008, um, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the droid gunship. So, this is the 7678 droid gunship, it's first generation. It was available as a Walmart exclusive for four months, actually. Um, and since not many people bought it, it uh, sold out and um, stopped being produced extremely quickly. Uh, so, that's the thing, and the set was actually really good, even though the Mayfield Trust was extremely poor. Um, the ship had a lot of playability and it was actually really fun. Again, I have this set myself, um, but I do have quite a bit of the entire line, so it's not personal preference, it's just um, the sales. Um, I would have gone with the Magna Guard Starfighter as well, but um, it wasn't as good of a set, so yeah. Um, 2009, we're gonna go ahead and um, so 2009 is a hard year because most, well, it's the year where most of you guys got into LEGO Star Wars or most uh, people got into LEGO Star Wars and um, actually this is quite surprising but the 8038 Battle of Endor is actually one of the sets that didn't sell well. Um, not many people bought it, it's original trilogy so most sets that year were Clone Wars which is um, normal because it was the beginning but um, a great set overall still so yeah. Kind of odd um, that it didn't make it as one of the top sets, but for me, it is one of those. So yeah. So uh, 2010 actually um, is a really really good line as well. So this is um, hard to choose, but um, the one which went to low on sales and which was a really really good set was the 8128 Cad Bane's Speeder. This set sold. Um, didn't sell well. It has a very very bad price range, but um, it had some a lot of exclusive minifigures and was a great set. So yeah, the sphere is great, great minifigure choice. Um, and it's sad that most people got the turbo tank or the John Grievous Starfighter instead of that set. So yeah. 
It was $40 in a Toys R Us exclusive, so that's something to note as well. Uh, 2011, um, it was the 7868 Mace Windows Jedi Starfighter. Again, these are Toys R Us exclusives um, because Toys R Us is expensive and exclusives uh, means that it's hard to find them. So this set was one of the harder sets to find, um, but it was a really, really good set. I don't have that set really sadly. Um, the Starfighter is a huge improvement, a pretty cool speeder. A nice minifigure choice and two stamps, so that was a wonderful set for $40. Um, even though the piece count wasn't up there, it was a great set. Uh, 2012. So, 2012, um, well, it's well known um, now that it sold out the 959, no, excuse me, 9495 Gold Leaders Y Wing Starfighter. Great set, um, again, Toys R Us exclusives. Um, so it was uh, harder of the sets to get. Um, had new minifigures, which is was, which is a a great thing. Uh, the Starfighter, it's a Y wing, so it's a really, really cool ship. I really liked it. Um, I didn't. I out. I don't have the um the actual version. I have the 2007 version, which is um pretty much the same. Um. So yeah. So this set did feel like a decrease, but um it was a pretty cool overall set. So yeah. Um, 2013, well, um, there were a lot of great sets in 2013, um, but one of the sets which was really cool, good pricing, and was overshadowed by another set, um, was the 75003 A-Wing Starfighter. Um, I do have this set myself, it's a great set, the best A-Wing, um, definitely one of the better sets of the line, and, um, it didn't really make it well, and it's actually retired for quite a bit now, um, so yeah. And this was surprisingly not an exclusive, so yeah. You can still find this set, um, well, you could back then still find this set all over the um, places, because it wasn't selling well, so yeah. All right guys, let's move on to 2014, the last year so far. Um, I can't grade 2015 just yet, so I'll probably do that in another video in a while. So, uh, 2015 with the 75045 Republic AV7 anti vehicle cannon. A great set. I have it right next to me right now. It's one of the best sets of the line. Um, but again, it was overshadowed by a police gunship. Um, the ATAP. Um, really great sets um, that really just went over that set, and that set is great. It's not a remake for once. And. Um, it's it's one of those really really cool sets that you kind of have to get, but it didn't make it up there, and it's almost um, sold out. So yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Please comment, share it, and subscribe. And I'll probably do more of these videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.